She doesn't like her face to be combed too much. But we get it done, don't we? She's moving all over the place. So I'm going to trim her head. I've already done her body and her legs. She gets a very short haircut. So what I do is I use my Bravora, my adjustable blade here, and I put it on the 30. And I'm going to clip the outside and the inside of the ears. Hopefully she'll stay still. And oh, she'll just lean her head down. Girl. I'm just trimming all that hair that's around the inside of her ear, around the opening. Hey baby, trying to get all the edges. You're going to move so much. <laughs> yes, you are. Do the same to the other ear. So when I clip them, I'm just going toward the edges and using my fingers to hold the ear and clip against them so I can get most of the hair off of the edges of the ear. have to be careful not to cut the edges of the ears. Come here. She's scooping out all that hair in there. All right, what I do now is I just trim around the ear edges using my thumbs to hold the edge so I know where it is. Don't want to cut the skin. Good girl. Sometimes I get all the hair and I don't really need to scissor too much. I'm just getting all the little hairs that are sticking out. Now I'm going to use a 7F blade for the top of her head. And I'm going to go backwards. front of the eyebrows, being careful not to cut them off. Alright, the sides of her face. I like to go reverse, gives it a nice clean cut. So, what I will do now, come here sweetie, I'm just going to trim and pull her beard forward, hold it in my hand, and I'm going to clip uh, from the ear toward the outside corner of the eye. But on the other side. And what I like to do is to come under, pull her beard forward, and I find that little nodule, there's a whisker nodule right there. I just kind of clip just in front of that, go upwards, 
activity. Give me a to make a line. So the beard is basically from the outside corner of the eye, goes around to that nodule and goes back up. And I will fix that when she stops moving. So the top of the head, I'm just gonna get a little bit closer to the eyebrows. She moves a lot. I'm using a very light hand because if she moves, I will shave that eyebrow right off. You don't want that, right? No. You go home with one eyebrow? That would look funny. Come here, sweetie. I'm going to use my other clipper. It's still on the 30. I'm just going to do very lightly. I'm going to clip between the eyes here. Just in the corners. And hold those eyebrows back. No, no. Oh, let's see. She moved. Okay. Let me see what that looks like. Oh, she is a pet schnauzer, not a show dog. Show dogs get groomed differently. They get hand stripped. She's just a pet. And a wonderful pet, of course. Gotta do your eyebrows. Hang on. Alright, so I like to clean up in the middle of her eyebrows here with my fin and shears. It's okay. You're doing good. You're doing good. Let's see what that looks like now. And then do her eyebrows. So she gets short eyebrows. Come here, baby. So the eyebrows, I put them, or I make them shorter at the back and longer at the front. So I just kind of do a few cuts on both sides just to see where I'm at and eyebrows you can just kind of clip them a little bit at a time so you get the look that you want and I'm going to cut that off and the hardest thing about doing the eyebrows is uh, to get them the same length This, this eyebrow seems to curl. This one seems to curl and that one goes straight. So they're kind of hard to make them look the same. I think I'll just take off this piece here. And so basically it's at a V. So what I'm doing is my scissors, I uh, see the top of the nose. It's basically like the I'm facing that way toward the outside of her eye. And then I do the same for this side. Let me see. And then what I'll do sometimes is just kind of open this up underneath. Say, honey, clear that out so she can see. You can see the eyes. Come here. And I gotta clean this up a little bit in here. It's just on top of the eyebrow there. You don't want the eyebrows too far back into the skull. bulk them off if they're too like bushy. Let me see. See this one looks different than the other one, doesn't it? The owners like her beard longer but trimmed at the bottom. What I like to do is I like to trim this right around her mouth here because it goes right in the teeth. It'll wrap around the teeth and cause issues. They're always licking their lips and putting it in their mouth anyways. So I like to just get that off, just like that. It's much neater. It looks okay. And then what I do, come on, you're gonna sit still. Comb everything down. Say honey. Oh, and I just, no, 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 no. She hates this part. I just trim the bottom a little bit. And I kind of go on a curve. Up this way. 
Look at that. Blend that in. You want to look at yourself? Say cheese. So there you go. If you want to see more videos like this one, click on the video on the screen. And I will see you in the next video. Good girl. Want cookie? Want cookie? Who wants cookie? Oh, you want cookie? Who wants cookie? Want cookie? Want to go home? You good girl? <laughs> so cute. Are you so cute?